Welcome to DNA Tutorials, brought to you by Dynamite, the specialist DNA division of BBI Brandboost. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to add a PDF file for download in DNN. This is our website, viewed on a browser when not logged in, as any other user would see it. Now, if we move to a different browser where we're actually logged in, we can see the DNN admin panel. We can also see our previously created page, the How to Find Us page, under the Contact Us. Now, that page doesn't show on a non-logged in CMS system. So, moving back to our browser window where we're logged in, we're going to click on our page and we're going to add some content here on the right hand side. That is where we're going to put our link to download a PDF. To add the content, we need to go to our modules at the top of our admin panel and add new module. Now, to select common, you'll find the HTML module and drag it into place. Our module now appears and the first thing we need to do is go to the cog icon where we are going to find settings. We need to change the name of the module so it matches the content that we're going to display. In this instance, we're going to type in download directions and then we're going to press the update button. Our module now appears with the correct title. The next thing to do is go to the pencil icon and press edit content. And we're going to enter some text here that's going to be displayed on our page. We press save and the content appears on the screen. There we are. Just to check, close the edit mode and you can see it says download directions to our offices. Now that's just text. The next thing to do is actually link this to a PDF file. So back to edit mode and go to edit content on your module. This time highlight the text itself and you can see there's a paperclip icon. Insert media and select document manager. Now here you can upload files that you've created offline and we've actually created a PDF document of directions to our offices. We need to select this document from our own file, open it and then use the upload button to upload our file straight onto our website. Now once it's uploaded we then need to find that file in the file structure of our DNN CMS. Once we've found the file select it and then with the target option what you actually need to do is select new window. Now it's very good practice to select new window when you're talking about PDF files because they will then launch into either a new browser or a new browser tab. This will mean that people won't shut your website down when they open up a new PDF file. The other thing to do is give it a tooltip. That gives additional information that has some SEO value for your web page. Press save. Our page is now updated and to test this go to edit page and close the edit mode. Now click on your link that you've created and you'll see that your PDF launches to a new tab as can be seen at the top here and your web page is still there on the other tab. 